Hello, I'm Tony from Bonners Music, and this is my buyer's guide to the brand new Kawai CN39 Digital Piano. You can come and see and try the CN39 piano in one of our showrooms. We have them in Eastbourne in East Sussex. We also have a showroom in Rygate in Surrey, just off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway. And from November 2019, we're gonna have a brand new store, which is in Milton Keynes, right in the center of England. So we've got lots of places where you can actually come and try this piano and compare it with models from different manufacturers to make sure that you're making the right decision when you're buying a new piano. So let's start by taking a look at where the CN39 fits into Kawai's current model lineup. Kawai manufacture two different ranges of digital pianos. They have the CN series and the CA series. Now there's one big difference between the two different ranges of digital pianos, and that is in the actual keyboard action itself. So the CN series uses Kawai's responsive hammer action, and that's a plastic keyboard whereas a CA series uses Kawai's grand feel wooden keyboard. So if we look at where the CN39 fits amongst all their digital pianos, you have start off with the CN29, and that just has a basic control panel. Then you have the CN39, which is the one we're looking at today, which has a lot more sounds and recording features of better speaker system. And then above that, you have the CA48, which is the first of the CA range, and that shares a lot of the same sound technology as the basic CN29 model, but with the wooden keyboard. And then above that, you have the CA58, which has all the extra sounds. So perhaps another way of looking at their model range would be that the CN29 and the CA48 are almost like brother and sister pianos. They have the basic control panel. The difference between them is that they have, uh, the CA48 has the wooden keyboard, whereas the CN29 has a plastic keyboard. And then if we look at the CN39, that's like the brother to the CA58 model, which shares the same kind of control panel, all of the additional voices, better quality speaker system, and USB audio recording. So as I mentioned, the CN39 uses a plastic keyboard action, it's Kawai's responsive hammer action, but I must say it really, to me, feels like the best plastic keyboard that you'll find on a digital piano. Now there's nothing wrong with a plastic keyboard action, it's down to how it responds and how it feels, and I must say that the Kawai RH uh, responsive hammer action does feel really very, very nice to play. Now it's so, such a good keyboard action that another manufacturer who you may or may not have heard of, they're called Nord, that's N-O-R-D for Nord. They make these bright red keyboards which you'll see played on professional stages all over the world. They're really great stage keyboards or stage pianos as we call them. And they, in their latest model, which is called the Nord Grand, have opted to use the Kawai responsive hammer action in their new stage instruments. So it just shows you that this keyboard can be used by professional pianists on stage and Kawai uh, are of course using it in their home products as well. So don't be put off by the fact it's plastic. It really does feel very, very nice to play. The, uh, the benefit of the wooden action um, is that it, the, the keys are longer. So if you look at one of the CA models, the keys themselves, not the front bit that you play, but the bit that goes all the way inside the piano is actually longer and it sits on a balance pin. So there's actually a, a sort of a seesaw type mechanism in those actions, which gives the player even more control um, to be more expressive. Having said that, CN39 does feel really good to play, so it's well worth coming in and trying this piano out for yourself. So I'm going to start off by playing a piece of music on the first grand piano sound that comes to hand when you turn on the CN39, and that's the sound of the Shigeru Kawai Concert Grand Piano.
So as you could hear, really beautiful piano sound. Now there are actually two Kawai Concert Grand piano sounds in the CN39. If we just press the piano button, as you can see, the first one is the SK Concert Grand. That's the Shigeru Kawai Concert Grand. And there is also the Kawai EX Concert Grand. So these are two different flagship concert grand pianos and digital pianos create their sound um, by recording the sound of a real piano and then when you're playing the keys it's it's playing back that sound that's in very basic terms how it works it's called sampling and sampling is just a form of digital recording now Kawhi have recorded the sound of their very very best concert grand pianos and put them inside the cn39 and that sound is then amplified through a really good quality speaker system which is made by Onkyo, which is a very high-end Japanese um, manufacturer of hi-fi equipment. And Kawai have had a collaboration for a couple of years with Onkyo to create the amplification system in their pianos so that they've got the very best quality piano sound and excellent quality amplification as well. So the two things working together make for a really nice piano playing experience. So let's take a listen to the sound of the Kawai EX Concert Grand. As I said earlier, there are lots of different piano sounds inside the CN39, but I'd just like to draw your attention to the third piano sound, which is one of my favorites. Now this is the sound of the SK5 piano. Now this is what we would class as a studio grand piano. It's a slightly shorter grand piano than a, than a concert grand, but it's, very, it's, it's, a, it's the size of piano that's favored by recording studios because it's very easy to mic up and it has a, a very, um, uh, what's the word? It has a very distinctive sound um, and you'll hear it used on, on pop records, contemporary records, and it's, it's actually very popular with jazz musicians as well. But this is the sound of the SK5 Studio Grand Piano. So if you're buying a digital piano, one of the benefits of course is that you can plug headphones into the piano. Now underneath on the left hand side of the CN39 there are two headphone sockets so two people can enjoy the sound of the piano at the same time and when you do plug the headphones in it cuts the sound off and both people can hear through the headphones of course but the, anyone else can be in the same room and not be disturbed by those playing the piano. Now. Kawai have um, really worked on the headphone experience on the CN39, so it has what Kawai call a spatial headphone experience. And what that means is that when you're playing through headphones, the sound is sort of widened even more. So it gives you the impression that you're not playing with headphones. Um, so, so many people buy digital pianos for that very reason, perhaps you're living in an apartment or perhaps you've got young children and you don't want to disturb them sleeping at night but you still want to be able to play the piano. Um, and if you're playing for long periods of time, then you want, uh, you want a really nice headphone experience and Kawhi have worked hard to make sure that the headphone output of the CN39 is of the very highest quality but gives you an almost like a surround sound type experience. So if you do come and try a CN39 at one of Bonner's piano stores, then do plug some headphones in, have a listen. It does sound really, really good. So one of my favorite features on digital pianos is where you can actually layer two voices together. So you could select one sound and then you can select another sound and it actually plays both sounds on, on all the keys together. Now, some of my favorite combinations are, for instance, piano with a, a layered with an orchestral string voice. Um, but I'm gonna show you something different in this video. What I've done here is I've actually layered the harpsichord voice with the string orchestra. And it gives a very authentic uh, Baroque type sound. So have a listen to this.
As I said earlier in this video, there are of course lots of other sounds built into the CN39 and what I'm doing here is I've, I've taken the organ sound and I've layered it with the sound of the church choir. So lots of possibilities with layering voices. You can also split the keyboard in two as well. So you could choose one sound on the right hand of the keyboard and you could have a completely different sound on the left hand side. So in this example, what I've done is I've chosen the piano sound, but in the left hand side, I've chosen the sound of, a, of an upright bass or an acoustic bass. And that has also a ride cymbal uh, layered on the bass sound. So, uh, it makes a nice jazz trio type sounds. Have a listen to this. So the CN39 will allow you to record your performance as well. You can either record it um, in what we call MIDI format, that's M-I-D-I. Now what that allows you to do is, once you've recorded it in that format, you could take that song, maybe um, put it onto a USB stick, put it into your computer, and then using the right software, something like Sibelius, it will allow you to view the score of what, whatever you've recorded. Um, you can print it out, you can edit it, that kind of thing. So MIDI recording is ideal if you want to go on and edit what you've done later on on another piece of software. But the CN39 will also record in audio formats such as MP3 and WAV file. And that makes it very easy for sharing your music either on the internet or with your friends. It basically produces the music in a format that uh, most uh, computers and music players will actually recognize. And you can overdub as well. So you could record something, so you could record some piano, you could then overdub with a different sound and keep layering and layering and layering and, and do what we call multi-track recording. So um, it's, it's quite a powerful recording thing and it's great if you're learning to play a piece of music, it's very good to listen to yourself back to see how you're doing. But also you could perhaps record one hand first, play that back and then play, uh, practice your second hand whilst the other one's playing back. So the recording feature is very useful. The CN39 has Bluetooth MIDI and Bluetooth audio, which means that you can um, record your performance either directly into a computer with no cables, which is really good, but also Bluetooth audio allows you to listen to music from your smart device, perhaps your mobile phone or your tablet computer through the Onkyo sound system of the CN39. So your external music can sound really good coming through the speaker system on the CN39. So many pianos or digital pianos have a metronome facility built in. But the CN39 takes that one step further and it actually has drum rhythms. So instead of just a TikTok metronome, you can actually select a different rhythm. And there are quite a few in there, different styles of music. So that when you're playing, it's, it's like you're playing along with a drummer and you can get a bit more uh, of, of the right feel or the right vibe for the, the piece of music you're playing. So what I'm doing here, I'm just selecting a drum rhythm and I'm just playing the piano over the top of the drum rhythm. And as you can see, it's quite an effective thing and it's quite good fun. So if we just take a listen to a different one of the drum rhythms, what I've done here is actually I've chosen a sound which is a really good sound. It's the first time I've seen it in a kawaii piano. It's called octave piano. So this is actually playing the notes that I'm playing plus another octave above at the same time. 
and I've got the drum rhythm going. And I'm also halfway through this very short piece of music, I'm gonna bring in a choir sound. And this is a piece of Elton John music um, called Song for Guy. It's just a small excerpt of it. So I think you'll agree the CN39 is a really versatile instrument. It's a really good sounding piano. It's got a nice feel to the keyboard. The speaker system is very, very good quality. I think it looks really nice as well. If you just look at the cabinet here, I, I like this, the front of it, especially with the, the Kawai name logo in the middle. Um, you have a sliding key cover as well to cover the keys when it's not in use. It has three pedals as well, just like you would get on a grand piano. So it's a really good instrument. It looks nice, it sounds good, it's got a good key action. Um, and if you're considering a, a piano of this price point, the, the CN39 should be on your list. Now let's talk about what other pianos could you be looking at in this price range? Well, there would be the Yamaha CLP635, that's one of the Yamaha Clavinova pianos. Um, or you could look at the Roland HP702, which is another new model that's just come on the market. So in this price category, those are the three major models or the three models from the main brands that, that you should perhaps be considering. Um, come into Bonners because you can actually try all three of those models side by side in one place so you know you're making the right decision when you're choosing a new piano. So if you have any questions about digital pianos, then please do get in touch. You'll find all our contact details in the description below this movie. If you check out our website, you'll find different packages available for the CN39. We do packages with stools and headphones, and you can save quite a bit of money by buying all three items together in one package. The CN39 is available in different colors as well. This is the uh, satin black color. Um, there is a rosewood colour which is very dark brown which is actually a very popular colour and there is also satin white which recently we've found that there are more people buying white pianos because they seem to fit nicely in, in a modern apartment. The, the white finish does look really nice. So like I say if you have any questions then please do uh, get in touch. Check out our website where you'll find lots more information and pricing on the CN39. And I'd just like to say thanks very much for watching this movie and I'll see you again in another one of my piano demonstration movies.